It's an incredible opportunity to have to obey certain rules when creating and so to find things that you aren't expecting to in your subject matter. Um, I really enjoy not approaching the subject matter until almost the end of the day. Um, and then each time, you know, I, I, maybe I don't want to work with social media, but I've been given this challenge, and so I have to rise to meet that. And then within that, each time there's been something new and interesting um, um, that I wouldn't particularly have found because it's not where my main interest lies, but then actually beyond that, there's something very interesting. Um, so it's that thing of finding freedom in restriction. That's been really helpful. Um, the subject matter we're working with has, I think, some personal weight for us. So having to create very fast with it gives us almost a sense of ease and irreverence with it that maybe um, when we're outside this process, it's harder to achieve. Um, we can get very stuck in a cerebral process rather than just creating fast. Um, and I think, I think that's something that we'll take away. We've played with using tasks quite a lot before, um, but I guess we've just been more generous to ourselves with the time that, that a task will take um, in past processes. So, so yeah, it, it feels like this is just an accelerated process. It's very fast. It, it, you, you achieve so much in a day and you move really far in a day from where you perhaps thought you would. We've been thinking about this project and planning elements and things that we want to do for um, about four months since we started talking about it. Um, we are at the start now of uh, making. So being on the drift is fantastic. It's like an injection uh, and then of energy that's of not of narcotics <laughs> um, uh, and then um, yeah and then we've got a, a, a week together later in the year to continue developing it in, in next month um, so it's something it's subject matter we've been thinking about since the summer and then we started developing it properly about four months ago uh, we don't know initially we thought it would be um, an immersive theatre piece, so something that definitely had two characters in it and a narrative, um, even though that narrative might be circular or, or like a spiral um, rather than linear. Um, we've worked in the past a lot with um, audio installations and physical installations and, and site-specific stuff, so I think we're open to that being a part of it and then being here and seeing the way that um, um, alternative reality apps or um, closed circuit television allow the possibility of bringing, bringing other spaces into um, a smaller space is quite exciting. We worked last week in the, inside the shipping container um, with sound and that was really exciting. So I think, yeah, there's something in that. I really like making a game it's really inventive and playful uh, and can go a long way. In the past, I've done some work with layering a game underneath naturalistic work. Um, so having to make a game every day is, I think, a really good practice. I love playing ninja. I always love playing ninja. Um, and um, what else? Yeah, I mean, everything, everything. The content generation exercises coupled with a making task um, I just think the day is well, really well structured. It's fantastic. I think sharing a meal together is actually genuinely a really important aspect. Um, yeah.